your review i'm gonna react to um tiktok the tiktok most brain data challenge um the no poop july the fuck so i'm guessing like you don't you don't you're not you're not allowed to take a dump uh, i don't know let, let, but let's see no poop July might be TikTok's dumbest challenge. Some treat it like a joke, others take it seriously, and while it's giving users- Nah, if I had to take a shit, I'm gonna take a shit, I don't care. Man. Especially if it's that bad, man. especially if it's my stomach, you know, I'm, if I had to take a shot, like, I'm gonna take a shot. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not Hundreds of millions of views. It's also infuriating the entire medical field. No poop July is taking over TikTok, and some doctors are hoping users do not take the challenge seriously. So what you? So what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna you gonna poop on yourself? Like come on, man. and get your whole pants wet, get your under underwear wet. Like, the trend was first started by TikToker OKCron, OK who with just a couple thousand followers, posted this initial video in July 2020. At this point in time, ridiculous challenges were TikTok's claim to fame, helping OKCron OK go viral, amassing 84,000 likes. The majority of viewers simply laughed about the concept, but with Cron himself commenting, can I make it till the end, he'd posed a serious question. Was it actually possible? to go 31 days without pooping. Another user urged Kron that he shouldn't even try, yet he still proceeded to his second day. By slightly increasing the strain on his face, Kron gained a further almost half a million likes, which after again repeating on day three, showed how instantly popular the challenge was becoming. Other TikTokers therefore began to beg, can we please not make this a thing? Yet OK Kron dismissed him as a hater who'd already failed. Then by day number five, the challenge was also criticized by Reddit, and while some commenters asked what goes on in TikTokers' heads to make something like this, others thought it was hilarious. How did I not know about No Poop July until now? By day number eight, OKCron OK himself squeezed out a little smile, yet by day ten the struggle had returned. He looks like he's in genuine pain, that's because I am. When questioned on day eleven how am I holding it in, his state answer is on the hat, which was branded with the Flex Seal logo. However, this only helped temporarily, as on day 18 he was totally exposed. I think someone snuck into my house. He's using the bathroom. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding. A big misunderstanding? It's no poop to lie. I'm gonna expose you. Okay, Kron therefore made a sad announcement. I have failed no poop to lie. Understand? I couldn't do that, bro. <laughs> Like I said, I cannot do that. If I gotta go take a number two, I'm gonna take a number two. Like, it's that simple, man. Like. He shared his devastation. <laughs> it just slipped. It just slipped. I don't know what to say. It just slipped. So you shit yourself. Yet the very next day, he revealed he was still going. Kron had seemingly used his one free poop coupon, which allowed for one emergency dump without disqualification. To ensure it didn't happen again, he'd throw away all his toilet paper, lock up the toilet, throw away all his toilet paper again, and lock himself out of his bathroom. This inspired others to join in on the challenge, which it seemed okay Kron didn't really appreciate. Homie trying to act like he started the biggest trend of this month. Copycats however couldn't slow him down as OK Kron successfully beat the challenge, or did he? When told you better not be pooping off camera bruh, OK Kron responded I'm not, yet Kron's friend then exposed him by showing it was fake. You might know him as the kid who hasn't pooped for 26 days, but today we found proof that he lied to us. No poop to lie though, did you fail? Be real, yeah? Obviously, like, I'd be in the hospital, but... It was pretty damn obvious that the whole thing was a joke. I mean, nobody would actually be stupid enough to try this challenge for real, right? Well, people began to question. What if you drank liquid vitamin, protein, and fats? What if you drank a liquid form of all the resources you need to live? Never eating solid mass again? Could you maybe get away with never pooping again? One person responded, I lasted 10 days. I had to go to the hospital though and it was 2015. Never tried it again, just as a different TikTok was also going viral. This guy held his poop for 47 days. When he was pulled over, cops realized he ate something right before they came up to the window. 
window. He had swallowed drugs that were in his car. And while he was waiting behind bars, Lamar went on a poop strike. He simply refused to go to the bathroom altogether. He didn't go to the bathroom for literally 47 47 days is crazy. Eight days. This showed that the challenge was in fact possible, supported by a Reddit post giving countless other anecdotes. I've gone two months without a bowel movement. It hurts a lot and drains my energy, but it's happened a few times before. Usually it's just around one month though. I literally did not go to the toilet for a whole month after I effed up my bowels through laxative abuse. I was constipated for more than three weeks while pregnant. It was awful, but I didn't die, although sadly none of these people recorded it for their TikTok. That would be until Shireen and Kathy Dole came along. So here I am on day 33 of not doing a poo. My tummy is in agony. I have stomach cramps constantly. It is so, so painful. She'd been in and out of hospital as she simply couldn't poo. So I managed to date a big shite. That's me at the hospital now. I nearly fucking blocked the toilet pan. <laughs> She'd therefore shift her TikToks to document her journey, beginning perhaps coincidentally right at the start of July. I am just at the bath and look at my tummy. I am bigger than anybody holding like two triplets. She looks pregnant though. I'm pregnant. As shown, Shireen looked like she was pregnant, with her involuntary no poop July looking like it'd soon be ending. I am getting surgery tomorrow, but it's taken so long to get here, but I am so grateful. The surgery was successful, concluding her no poop July on the 21st, whilst other TikTokers like It's MacDougall were still clearly struggling to beat it. OK Cron had returned for another year, with significantly higher production value, although this time receiving much more criticism. Perhaps due to Shireen's journey, Kron's 2022 No Poop July featured an automatic TikTok disclaimer reading, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Despite this, the challenge went even more viral than ever, gaining over 800,000 likes on his very first episode in 2022. Yes, it's back, but at what cost? By refining and perfecting his constipation face. Okay, Kron cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20 and by day 29 the entire squad was there to offer their support. He'd celebrate its completion by wearing his finest suit which became his most watched video with over 18 million views. I didn't win in 2020 and I lost in 2021 but this year I did it. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. Doctors however weren't impressed by OK Kron's achievement. I'm Dr. Justin Sloan and I'm here to tell you that there are consequences to not having a bowel movement, and these range from hemorrhoids all the way up to bowel obstruction. No Poop July jokes are all over TikTok. Some doctors urge users not to try it for real. The NBC article written as the month was finishing read, some doctors warned that the trend should remain a joke, saying those who are successful at holding in their bowel movements could cause issues like hemorrhoids and a temporary dependence on laxatives for regular bowel movements. It's a funny thing to joke joke about, but it's a potentially serious thing to do, said Dr. Stephen Miller, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Ironically, however, this media exposure only made the challenge even more popular, but if you follow the graph a little further, you'll see No Poop July was still only getting started. In 2023, even more TikTokers joined the challenge, such as Hulkmania. Stanley, who basically just copied OK Kron's formula, unfortunately failing to add anything new. OK Kron himself had also barely changed anything, so despite again winning the challenge and joking about toilet eruption August, it seemed No Poop July was getting old, stale, and stinky. That would be until 2024, when OK Kron took the challenge to a whole new level. The month began with a crazy announcement. The No Poop July video game is officially available for pre-save in the app store. He'd built an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It features weapons such as the toilet paper pistol, a full line of in-game cosmetics, and a new boss for every day of July. Upon its release, Kron would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. Amazing game, life-changing, managed to get out of the divorce and take back custody of my kids. Yeah, really made a game out of that shit, bro. 
after showing the judge and Pichet. And No Poop July itself still hadn't even started. In addition to the game, Kron teased the challenge with its own official trailer, which did eventually manage to live up to the hype. Every single day had its own funny outfit, dressing up American for the 4th, as Yoda for the 8th, and Skibbity Toilet for day 22. After the month eventually ended, Kron had officially achieved the MPJ3 peak, yet he still wasn't finished. He'd announced that he'd made an official MPJ movie, and while this seemed like just another joke, it actually had a super wholesome twist. Kron explained towards the end, toilet paper is often overlooked in donation drives, yet it is one of the most essential and under-donated toiletries globally. He'd therefore spend almost a thousand dollars on it, explaining since I didn't have to poop for the entire month of July, it would instead be donated to a local charity. Perhaps even more impressively, OK Kron had milked the 31 days for 103 different MPJ TikToks, but I guess it's not a bad idea, given the challenge is seasonal and is also getting old. Viewers have commented the meme has been dead for over a year. Just let it go, yet OK Kron believes he'll still be doing NPJ in 2089. So yeah, well that's the vid, bro. Um, yeah, man. Let me know what y'all think about this challenge, bro. I never heard of this challenge till right now. Um, yeah, man. I couldn't do be participated in in that challenge, bro. Moral of the story is, if y'all gotta poop, then poop, bro. Don't wait. Don't wait. Wait until the month is over, like to poop, bro. If you gotta, if you gotta poop, then just take a number two, bro. Like, because at the end of the day, what, what you gonna shit on yourself? Like, come, it's a possibility that you could shit on yourself. You feel me? So yeah, bro. If you, if you gotta poop, then poop. That's that's the best. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and all the vibes. We're checking out you are.